So in, in the beginning of the day, we were hoping to get back and crack the 42s to, get, to open up the door to the 39 zone, the half cap, and then hopefully get to anything below that, good fortune. And then we, and during lunch, just kept on selling off. Very surprised by that. Came all the way back to, you know, auction off this territory that had been the smoke and mirrors over the last, couple of uh, nights. Attempt at an angel. <clears throat> Still so far rejected. I said, let's think about the 31, 36 zone for a few minutes. Here we are still. And today is a day that <clears throat> Realistically, the game started up here and it's sold off ever since. And I said, good possibility we'll get a two-way day. This is not a two-way day. This is a one-way day, right? Right from the, the outset, we said, give it the first few minutes. And then likely we'll get some backing and filling, stop running the shorts, and then everything has been south side since then. That surprises me. That there's not not been a better effort by uh, by the long side. And this uh, <clears throat> rollover, get under the umbrella, has stayed here. <clears throat> it's come into the closing, the settlement area. Globex, you can also see it. Nice umbrella trade, really. Been absolutely no effort uh, on the uh, long side to defend anything. Ball was given to Charlie early and said, here you go. Do what you can with it. And Charlie's been tripping over his feet ever since. That surprises me. So I think we'll get some volatility. <clears throat> and normally I like to think of the first of the month. That's your <clears throat> that's where your bias is going to be for the long side. Very, very much surprised by them coming all the way back down here so easily. And a reminder, here's our Z contract. This is the next one. So anybody that has played short side, reminder, we're getting late. And I would think um, anybody that is short will want to cover and take some profits. So realistically, you know, we have not had a bounce. <clears throat> we have not had a contra, and we're probably due for one by the end of the uh, end of the session. So, anybody that's short side, <clears throat> I don't want to talk you out of additional targets, but I do want you to to understand the range. And <clears throat> certainly, the jury is still out as to directionality. <clears throat> but I want to think about these traders over here, seeing last week's 24 low, the Friday's low, as being this area right here. Because that's really what we're doing. This low. is last week's low zone. And as such, if, you know, when, once we look into the new contract, this, <clears throat> this low that we're printing now is going to appear as if it's closing that other gap. <clears throat> that last low.
I would not overtrade. Market has been fairly range bound ever since one o'clock. Been a very small range S curve. You can see it. Big plunge was that 15 minute bar right in through here. Bing, bing, bing. You can see it. That changed the whole character of the day, this one bar. Trapped all along to thought perhaps get up into the mid-50s. Then said, no, you don't. And this is the idea of the generals backing up the train. 